One of the best parts about owning a saltwater tank is that you can put coral in it, but you can also put fish. And undoubtedly, people want to put a lot of fish in their tanks, which is great, but then what do you do with the nutrients, the waste that the fish produce? Well, you can use a refugium, but as I've said in lots of saltwater tank shows, unless you have a really big one, you're not going to get that much nutrient reduction. So if you're tight on space and you want nutrient reduction, you can go to an algae reactor, and Geo is here at Reef Palooza with their algae reactor, which has some cool features that they point out to me check this out. First of all, these are all made here in the United States and we have an LED on both sides. There's one here and there's one here. Now if you want to say, hey, how much algae do I have down here in this algae reactor? All you got to do is this. Pull up the light, pop off the light, and you have access right here in the viewing port. So we can say how much algae we have. Do we need to export algae out, remove that algae, or you know what? We're doing all right. We want to put this back in, it just snaps right in like that, and then it slides right down in this channel so your light is nice and secure. I love that, that's super cool. The lid pops right off. When it's time to export, this all comes out as one piece. You have different levels here for your Chato. Remove it or put new in, put it all back in. Everything is seamless, locks tight, barb fittings, or if you're like me, you're a hard plumb guy, we can get unions that will allow for hard plumbing and they come in a variety of colors that want for those of you that want to mix up your reef. So if you're looking for nutrient reduction, you don't have enough space for a refugium, but you want that refugium punch. Also with growing copepods, things like that, check out the Geo algae reactors, come in all different colors, and these are rated approximately up to a three-ish, 100-gallon tank. Now, if you have bigger fish producing more waste, you can add more reactors, or if you have a smaller tank, not a problem, you put less algae in there and you can harvest it more often. So. One reactor covers all different sides of tanks, help you with your nutrient reduction. I like it. All right, for those of you that are a little more old school, you remember the sulfur denitrators? Well, Geo's got that too. For those of you that are new school, the way this works is we have a sulfur media, we inject water in here, we grow bacteria to reduce just your nitrates. This is gonna take a little bit to get going, so if you grab one of these, give it about a month to start seeing results. But the nice thing about these is we can limit the nutrient reduction. I've talked a lot about going slow with nutrient reduction. You don't want to just all of a sudden suck your nutrients down. So at first we just add a little bit of water in here. You do that through like a peristaltic pump. We add a predictable amount of water throughout the day. It's going to limit the growth of the bacteria that's going to reduce that nutrient. So you can start slow, watch your nutrients come down. You say, yeah, I'm happy with where I am. I'm going to just keep the same rate going, kind of suspend your nutrients there. Your fish get bigger, you get more fish. You need more nutrient reduction. Add more water to this, the bacteria grows faster, eats up more of those nutrients. This is only nitrate reduction, but it's got a lot of punch. Remember, just be patient with it, but we can also limit how much nutrient reduction we want. Love one of these things. My thousand gallon reef's getting stocked with heavy fish. I may need to add this when I do. I'm going with Geo.